Long Island teacher charged with raping a 15 year old student in 2013 facing a judge today. All right, Judy Goldberg has more on the arraignment for Timothy Harrison and the alleged abuse that former students say had been going on at the Babylon School District for years. He's accused of violating the trust of the very community to which he has ties. Timothy Harrison left the courthouse on Friday afternoon without comment. The 46-year-old was arrested on rape charges dating back to 2013. Prosecutors say on at least two occasions he allegedly texted with an unnamed 15-year-old student, picked her up, brought her to his house, gave her alcohol, and then had sex with her. This while working as a teacher and coach in the Babylon School District. We don't personally know her, but we do support her. Darcy Bennett says she's reliving her own horrors, hearing about other victims. The Babylon alum says she was sexually abused by one of Harrison's colleagues. It's mind-blowing. It's really disgusting. While Bennett's alleged abuser hasn't been charged, Harrison's arrest marks the first step in what she says is much-needed change. Last year, New York Attorney General Letitia James launched a civil investigation after mounting allegations of sexual abuse, misconduct, and manipulation involving multiple teachers in the school district. I'm hoping that moving forward we'll be able to get some more arrests out of this, make sure that people get justice served and everyone gets heard. Harrison's attorney says his client is a married man with two children and has the support of family, friends and colleagues. His life's history is the opposite of this accusation. He's 46 years old. He's been in the district forever. He is uh, highly regarded. The Babylon School District called the latest allegations extremely disturbing and noted Harrison has been suspended suspended without pay since they first learned about the alleged inappropriate behavior. A stay away order of protection has also been issued. Harrison posted bail and is due back in court next month. In Central Islip, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.